good morning everyone um so i'm waiting for rusty he's gonna be working on the air conditioning today i think we're gonna get that job finished today today's memorial day so it's kind of a free day nothing going on can't go anywhere everything's closed so that's a good day for us to work on this um but i was just going to kind of show you guys what i'm doing this morning um i'm hanging remotes I know I've said before that anything sticky doesn't usually stay stuck because of the cold, the heat, the cold, the heat, but except for Velcro. Velcro is my other trailer. I used it for everything. I hung pictures with it. I hang, I hang my remotes with it. I even mounted the salt and pepper shakers to the table so I could just leave them on the table. And uh, so I was just going to show you guys that little tip and trick. I always put the fuzzy part of the Velcro on the actual remote. I put the scratchier one on the wall so that way when you're handling the remote it's not you know tearing up your hands or feeling rough on your hands so that's what i'm doing this morning i hung this and now yeah, it's done with the sticky i thought i would try it and see how well it'll hold up because the reviews were that it didn't people didn't have a problem with it so we'll see but i got this one i got three of these this size and then i got two of this size and i think it was like 20 bucks on Amazon, which was the best bargain I could find. And I hung this one in, or I put this one in here, because remember, we don't have a sink in our bathroom. So I'm going to put, Rusty likes bar soap. So I'm going to put a bar soap in that and uh, for him to be able to wash his hands here at the kitchen sink. Um, then we have our liquid dish soap right there in this little pump thing. And then I also have my other soaps over here. But, um, what else have I done? So, yeah, I did, I've started hanging remotes, and we have a lot of remotes. I have this little remote here that goes with the set of lights. I'm trying to decide if I want to hang them there. These two remotes is the TV right here. I accidentally turned it on when I hung the remote. And then the other one is to this uh, fireplace right below it. So, I haven't decided if I'm going to hang that little one there or hang it maybe in the utility closet somewhere because we don't use it very often. Um... What else have I done? I'm going to be hanging pictures today with my Velcro. I, like I said before, I always buy wood, light, lightweight wood frame pictures, and then I just I hang them with Velcro. Usually a piece of Velcro at the top, piece of Velcro at the bottom, so they can't flop going down the road. And that used that worked really well in the last trailer, so I'm assuming it'll work well here. Um, this I've hung right here at the table because we always another tip. We always put a basket where we can put all of our charging cords and we always put it near a receptacle um, so we can hang, you know, plug in our receptacle things. I actually have a bar strip in the other trailer I'll be moving over here that I'll plug in and then we can plug lots of USBs, lots of plugins in it. And um, that way we can keep our phones charged, anything else that we need to charge. I do battery packs so when we're out for the day we can keep our phones charged. So that's why I like the basket. It just keeps it a little nice, neater, tidier than what it would if you just laid them directly on the table. But if we need to lay something on the table, we can. It's right there. Okay, I'm going to stop here. And I'm hoping we get a lot done today. This should be a good video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you see what you like. And we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I'm getting ready to hang the first picture, and I was just going to kind of show you what I do. I just eyeball them. I don't measure anything, but these are the fuzzy side just because I always put the fuzzies on the item, and then I always put the other side on the wall. So I'm going to sticky these down. I can't do it one-handed because I'm holding the phone. Then I will take and put this on top of that with it before I take the tape off and then when I get it positioned where I want it on the wall I'll just pull that tape off stick it up there and then when you pull it off the wall the the sticky side the velcro sticky is so good that it stays on the wall and the, the picture comes off without it so it works really well um, and then for this string because I do like the string it's kind of you know has that countryish look I think I'm just gonna get a really really tiny nail and just put a kind of a fake nail up there where it looks like it's that's what's holding the picture although it won't be what will be holding the picture so I just wanted to show that to you guys real quick okay the lighting is really bad but so there's the picture and I don't think I'm going to do the nail I don't really think it needs it and if I if it looks droopy later I might put a nail up there 
but I think it looks okay. I should have turned the light on so you guys could see better. But there's the first one. Okay, so another thing I just recently purchased to hang because I love these things is this clothesline. We hang it in the shower. You can put wet bathing suits on it, let it, you know, drip dry into the bathtub. Problem is, I can't get it hung right. I'm having a real issue with it. So when Rusty gets time, I'm going to have him take a look at it and see if he can get it. I don't know if I've got a faulty one or if I'm just doing something wrong because I've done something like this before and this one's just not going up right. And say good morning, Rusty. Morning. <laughs> there he is. It's morning, so he's having to he's having to work on the trailer Memorial Day. But I think that's a good thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's fun, huh? Well, okay. Yeah, we were really planning on, we were hoping we'd be camping in it this weekend, but it's okay. Working on it's a lot of fun. I know you guys probably all, most most of the time you're probably able to say we're enjoying the build process too, but because uh, we really do most of the time. Every now and then we come across issues that we wonder what we're doing, but other than that, we've had a lot of fun doing this. It's kind of almost sad that it's almost done. We still have a lot to do, though. We have a, we have two doors to do. We have lights outside we want to put up. Eventually, we're going to put solar. Huh? Oh, yeah, we got the skirting where the sheet metal we told you guys about in the, one of the first couple of videos that we're going to be putting on the bottom. We do. In the wardrobe cabinet. So we still have a little bit to do. But it's almost to the point where we could camp in it if we wanted to sneak off for the weekend. So that's a good thing. But okay, I'm going to close here. And we're, I think Rusty's going to be trying to finish up the AC today. And maybe even the Murphy bed, depending on how the AC goes. Right? Yeah. So, okay. We'll talk to you guys in just a bit. Okay, so Rusty had to run to town and get some parts for the AC real quick. Um, or a tool he needed. Um, and I bought these brackets the other day and I painted this table and I'm going to hang it on the Murphy bed so that when we have our sitting in our chairs watching TV at night, we have a little end table here. We can put our drinks and phones and stuff on. I've never done this kind of table before, so I'm probably going to do it wrong the first time. But what I've got figured out so far is when you buy them, you can buy them, you know, nearly the whole length, so it'll hold up the table. So I'm assuming the long side, since that was the side I had to order for the length of the table, is going to mount there. And I'm assuming this is going to mount on the wall. I don't know, but I thought I'd try to help and get this part done, because little things like this, I think I can handle. Um, and it came with little bitty screws and great big screws. And... I'm not sure we can use the great big ones on the bottom of that bed because I don't want them, you know, going through our mattress. So I'm going to have to figure that out or wait for Rusty to get here and ask him what he thinks. But anyway, this is where I'm at on this. Okay, I'll show you guys more if I get it done. If not, Rusty will be hanging it.